Hey guys, it's me, Vicstar123, with another Team Throwing Knife Only gameplay. I thought I'd put up another Throwing Knife Only gameplay just because we're in that kind of Throwing Knife Only mode at the moment. I uh, just wanted to say a massive thanks to, first of all, you guys for the um, great feedback you gave on Bullseye V1. Really glad um, I was able to produce a video that so many people enjoyed. Um, you know, as a video content producer, it does mean a lot to have a video do that well, and uh, most of it's down to you guys, so massive thanks for that. And the second thank you I want to give out is to um, SLP Sleep for Shady for the uh, incredible editing on that video, and if you guys enjoyed it as much as me, um, I would, and I'm sure he would appreciate it if you went over to his channel and subscribed. There will be an annotation on screen that will do just that for you, and... Uh, yeah, absolutely incredible. So, one thing I noticed from reading through the comments on that video that kind of uh, sparked up something with me, and I thought, ooh, that's a cool cool thing. Uh, there was there was a comment saying, hey, where is the throwing knife only mob, Moab, whatever you want to call it? And I was like, hmm. So this is something I've gone for in the past, but I've never, you know, really gone for it in a really serious way. I think my highest kill streak throwing knife only is 16 or 17. It wasn't the cleanest kill streak, but that's what it was. Um, and it just made me think, right, an extra 8 on that, and that would be the world's first throwing knife only mob. And then I thought, right, well, I'll tell you guys that I'm going to challenge myself to get that. But hey, it would be no fun if it was just me. So I'm throwing the challenge out to you guys as well, the subscribers, my viewers, um, to go out there and get a throwing knife only mob and if you do manage to get that then um, I would love to see it and I'd love to share it on this channel uh, for everyone else to watch because I think it would be a really incredible feat so that was my little challenge out to you guys and oh that was a nice play really enjoyed that one there's nothing more satisfying than just dropping two guys who are running at you when you're using throwing knives and there's a third in the identical position absolutely awesome and here um, it could have been so much more there were so many guys there Unfortunately, I was just off with that throwing knife. Surprised I didn't actually manage to pick up any of those guys. But nonetheless, uh, still pretty nice. So actually, um, I'm going to throw out a few tips for the person who might want to go out uh, throwing knife only themselves. So, uh, you know, I've been kind of thinking about this recently and what my tips would be. Um, basically, I've broken it down into three separate parts. So number one, most important, be able to hit a person with a throwing knife. And it's not always going to work. The only way you're going to get better at that is simply practice. Just keep practicing online, private matches, whatever. And it's just something that you'll develop. And the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. And then the uh, second point is recovery. Because there will be times when you miss throwing knives. It happens to all of us. And you've got to know what to do in those situations. And again, you can learn this from practice. Because you'll know what gets you killed and what lets you survive. So really each different, uh, different situation is unique and you've either got to decide to run away or um, run past and get a throwing knife and usually the way I determine is if the enemy is stunned or they can't shoot straight I'm going to run around behind them, grab my throwing knife and have another go but if they've already hurt me and they're not stunned then I'm going to try and get away and hope that I manage so those are the first two points. Um, the third point actually that's quite important is the class setup that you're running and from experience perk 1 what you're going to need is scavenger which will let you resupply throwing knives perk 2 quick draw so you can throw them faster and you can throw your concussion grenades faster um, really would recommend concussion grenades over flash grenades because it's hard to anticipate which way a target is going to move and obviously the longer the distance the harder that is to do well the less able uh, you are to do that so if you're going for a long range throwing knife, just hope that your target is sat still, otherwise chances are they're going to move and you're going to miss. So that is exactly why most of my kills are going to be at close range, just so I can scavenge up that throwing knife and um, I don't have to worry about them moving as well as the throwing knife moving. And they do actually fly fairly fast, so close range, they, are, they can be quite useful if you can use them in combination with a uh, primary weapon, you're out of ammo, they can be an absolute saviour, so would recommend that. And anyway, let me get on with the rest of the class. So perk 3 is really up to you guys. I run Dead Silence Pro just so I can um, jump from high ground to low ground without 
damaging myself and just sneak up on people. It is really useful because you don't come up on the mini map when you're using throwing knives, so you can really kind of go for a stealthy playstyle. And oh my god, that was embarrassing. So yeah, those are kind of all of the tips I really have to offer if you want to get a little bit more proficient with that throwing knife, get on that kill feed, or your friends like, whoa, how are you getting so many throwing knife kills? What are you doing? You hacked, bro. <laughs> So one last thing I'm going to fill you guys in on before I end this video is Bullseye V2. What is the deal with that? And I'm going to be uh, totally truthful on this one with you guys. So SLP, Sleep for Shady, absolutely great editor. And not surprisingly, he has a lot of editing requests. So unless I can find another editor that I believe is up to his standard, um, then we'll be waiting a while before Bullseye V2, the community throwing that montage, but if I can find someone else, then uh, you'll be seeing a new editor and a chance to submit your own clips for Bullseye V2. Hopefully it's going to be absolutely incredible. So that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Really do hope you enjoyed. And uh, let me know what you thought with a comment.